Home as Strawberry Studios, and it's been home to some of the great names in pop music. Paul McCartney was here, so too Roxy Music. And the songs that have been recorded here by local bands read like a history of the Northwest music scene. Used today by local musicians, Strawberry Studios were set up by local musicians back in 1968. Eric Stewart and Graham Goldman from 10CC. 10CC were a self-contained unit and uh, because of that this was our main tool if you like. Uh, we used to, Eric used to engineer all the s sessions. Uh, we wrote, played on and recorded and produced everything ourselves. So it was natural that we should have our you know, own the studio. You know, if you've got a, a, a top flight facility that uh, local groups can get to without too much travel, obviously it's wonderful. And uh, the, the reputation is such that it, it, it's always attracted people from all over Britain as well. Over the years, Strawberry Studios churned out thousands of tracks by hundreds of groups, but it's best remembered for one particular song recorded here in August 1975. Not a love, so don't When we recorded it, we knew that we'd recorded something amazing and uh, we would sort of keep playing it back to ourselves. And we, although, I must say, none of us realised its commercial potential at all when we'd recorded it. It was only when we started playing it to our families and friends that everyone said, you know, you should release that as a single, it's fantastic. These days, Eric Stewart lives in France, Lol Creams in LA, but Strawberry Studios still stands, and today it received a little recognition, a plaque marking its unique contribution to pop music. And more interesting news, a new 10cc album, their first in ages, will be released in March. It has all the original members, but whether it has the original magic, we'll all have to wait and see. My music there, of course.